how you doing? This is Big Motherfucking Shirley live and surprise on motherfucking YouTube. And I didn't forget, bitch. I know it's Ass Big Shirley Wednesday. I just had some shit to take care of. That's why I'm so motherfucking fly alicious right now. But I got some people that did send in some uh, questions. So we're going to get to those right now. A couple people on Facebook messaged me, and one of them, uh, a little sexy fine man, he says. Why do women find big, light-skinned men with tattoos and long hair sexy? Well, if you're sexy, you're sexy. You know, and some people have different preferences. They find different types of men sexy. So it just all really depends on the type of women you're talking about. Now, me personally, I don't give a fuck what you look like. As long as you clean, don't stink, and, you know, got something going for yourself. I don't like a lazy man. I don't like a man that don't take baths and can't take care of themselves. Because I sure in the fuck ain't taking care of your ass. So. But I'm an equal opportunity fuck. I make sure that all applications are looked at the same way as the others, bitch. But that's just my opinion. Next question. Comes from the sexy ass red bone bitch. And she says, how do you deal with developing feelings for someone that you probably shouldn't? Well, that's a personal call, because you know what? I've fallen in love with a couple people I shouldn't have, too. It's called baby daddies! But, you know, sometimes you fall for motherfuckers, and you just can't help it. You know, everything is done for a motherfucking reason. I truly believe that shit, so... Step into it slowly, bitch. If you find things that ain't right, or you start feeling like this is the wrong bet for you... Make sure you got enough room to step the fuck back. Don't get yourself caught in no shit you can't get out of. Um, second one comes from the same sexy red bone bitch. She says, or how would you tell someone your feelings without coming off creepy? Well, creepy is the motherfuckers that, you know, all up in your face and like breathing and have these funny faces like, <sighs> You're pretty. Mm. Are they giving you teddy bears every motherfucking day? Bitch, I ain't got enough room on my bed for all these stuffed animals. Stop giving me motherfucking stuffed animals. That's motherfucking creepy. But if you keep it real and just be like, you know what? I've been peeping you from the side, motherfucker. My peripherals have caught a vision of you a time or two. And I would like to take you out. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing creepy about that shit. But as the second one goes, make sure you give yourself enough room to back the fuck out of any situation you ain't sure of. And then, uh, third one is Sassy Fox from YouTube. I've mentioned him more than once. We talk on a regular basis. Definitely a cool cat to talk to. He says, why are gay men so goddamn conceited? And those are his words exactly. Why are gay men so goddamn conceited? Well, you know, all men have an ego to a certain extent. They do. They all have a motherfucking ego. Some of them are just so motherfucking just nasty and arrogant that that's what makes the dickheads. And, you know, some of the dickheads are actually really motherfucking... They got good stuff going on in their life, but that's because they dicks and don't give a fuck about what they got to do to get where they want to go. Some people like their life like that. As far as gay men, you know, and I could be wrong because I'm not a gay man, but I do have a few gay friends. And uh, sometimes I think that some of it may come off as a guard to protect themselves from insecurities. You know, it's hard living a life like that. Even being bisexual is a hard way to fucking live because not everybody accepts people like they should. Being fat is hard. Not everybody likes fat people. In fact, there's people that have motherfucking groups that hate on fat people. Like, there's groups that hate on gay people. Yeah, there's groups that hate on fat people. So it's not easy living a lifestyle of any kind. Not everybody's accepted. So I really do think the ego does come from a little bit of being scared that someone's going to judge them for being who they are. So they put a little bit of craziness and I don't give a fuck attitude towards it. And... They live their life like that, and that's how they they build their walls. That's that's just my opinion, though. Any of these questions that you guys have any opinions on, please post them down below. I'd love to hear y'all's motherfucking opinions about any of this. So, 
that was my motherfucking day. Hope y'all's was good. I love the questions, y'all. Let's get some more coming in here. Let's get some more. So shout out to my two people on uh, Facebook. Like I said, I ain't gonna say no names, but y'all know who you motherfucking are. Shout out to y'all and shout out to Sassy Fox. Bitch, keep doing your motherfucking thing. I hope you got some more videos coming because I love to watch you grind that shit down to the flow. Anyways, have a nice enough motherfucking night, y'all, and I'll let you later, bitch.